Namaste, this is Yolandi from Divine Soul and welcome to my video for this week. So the card that I drew this week is the meditation card and um, I had to have a bit of a laugh because when I work with my clients and I bring up the subject I have faces drop, I have like oh I don't want to do it, I can't do it, I don't know how, this is the hardest thing in my life and I thought let me make a video about this because most people the minute you say meditation they want to run and hide. And they have these images of the same Buddhist monk sitting somewhere for three hours, not speaking to anyone, being all like um and zen and um, yeah. And then <laughs> you just imagine what the hell am I going to do for three hours and think about for three hours. So I think for me, it's it's like you need to be practical about meditating. You need to be practical about like what time have you got and what is your aim? Like what is it that I'm trying to do? For me, when I work with meditation, I generally have two reasons for doing it. So on a daily basis, and this is 90% of the time when I meditate, it's all about establishing my connection to uh, my higher self, to the greatest consciousness, and to um, just getting in touch with source. Okay, So getting energy into my being and making sure that I calm myself down and make myself being in like a really nice same space but I need 10 minutes for that I don't need to sit for three hours because that's not what I'm about I'm I'm a mom I'm a wife I'm a, um, an entrepreneur so I've got lots of stuff to do and I've got a mission like every day I've got stuff to do and I can't be sitting for three hours that's not that's not why I'm here <laughs> I think most of us are in that picture. If you wanna, if you wanted to be some kind of monk, you'd be out in Tibet and doing your thing there. But you're in life like most of us are, so you need to make a plan. And you still want to be in that space where you feel connected, where you have clarity and this this beautiful, um, like knowing within you and and just something that sits within you. And that's what meditation brings to me. Is like every day, is like it brings that sense of calm, that sense of peace, that sense of that I'm actually in control of everything, I know exactly where I'm going and what I'm doing. So that's the main reason. And then my second reason for doing it is to get answers. So if I'm busy working with something or um, I'm working with something that's emotional within me that I have to look at and I need some answers, then I like to meditate as well. But then I meditate with purpose. Okay, So then I will go into my session and I will say to my guides, Okay, I'm going to sit here and I need some guidance. And very often what I do is I'll use my cards and then I will pull a card and come up with a phrase. And then I'll sit and meditate on the phrase. And then in your head, everything sort of comes together and you'll get answers and guidance. So that's my second way of meditating. But what I want you guys to focus on today in the video is really about the first way. This, the becoming still. Okay, And that's the thing because that's what gives us the energy to get through every day. Um, it gives us the the purpose and just so much life force so that we can actually be in this world and cope with it okay. okay. Because it's every time you close your eyes and you just breathe, you go back to that place of stillness. Every time the stress hits or someone really annoys you or something bad happens, you just breathe and you go back to that space. And once you're there, that's your calm, that's your, your equilibrium. Um, we're, we're such pendulums as humans, you know, we go from one extreme to the other extreme. And I think what we all just want deep inside is to find that peace, that center point. And that's what all of this is about. So meditation for me brings me to my center voice. It, it brings me to my peace. It brings me to the space in my heart where I'm like, all will be well. I'm looked after. I can trust everything that's good sits in that space. So it's really important that you look at this as a commitment. If you're, you know, if you're wanting to um, connect more with your higher self, if you're wanting to connect more with your guides, if you're wanting to connect more with source, you have to become still. And we're so rushed and we're so busy. And that's fine. That's part of life. But the thing is, you have to make space. Otherwise, you don't hear what you're supposed to be hearing and you don't see what you're supposed to be seeing. So you need your center point, you need your equilibrium. Okay, so for me today, I would love to just take you into a space of stillness and just allow you to sit there and be and feel. Um, so the best way to do this is I like to 
either meditate with music or I use prayer beads. It all depends on what you like to do. Um, music is a good way to start. So you have something playing in the background. Start like with two, three minutes. When I started, my teacher said five minutes. For me in the beginning, I was like way too much because that's a hell of a long time when you put that out in a timer. So start with two minutes. Just put your timer on your phone, put it on two minutes, put your phone on silent, have some music playing, and then just two minutes of sitting and breathing and connecting to your breath. Okay, I'll show you now when we go into meditation how to do that. And then it's literally, all you do is you focus on your breath. You focus on breathing in and you focus on breathing out. And when those little thoughts come like, oh my goodness, I still have to go and do this, I have to fetch the kids tonight, and I have to go and buy dinner, da 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 just allow it like think of it like a cloud and it sort of it comes fast and it's wanting to come into your brain and you just go okay I see you and I let you go okay so acknowledge your thoughts because you can't switch your brain off <laughs> it's, it's like it's completely impossible so you have to be okay with the thoughts coming in you have to step out of judgment and stop judging yourself if the thoughts come in because you are human okay so this is really important so it's all about connecting with your breath take two minutes Okay, and then every week try and increase it. You know, I started with like my little two minute stints. I can now comfortably do 20 minutes. If I have time, I'd love to do 30 minutes, but generally I don't. So my whole scenario is between 10 and 20 minutes every day. Okay, um, and then also if you can journal, make some time, like take 20 minutes, 10 minutes of getting silent, 10 minutes of journaling, writing down. Um, all the thoughts, the feelings, the stuff that's going on in your life, write it down. It's like it's like extracting bad stuff out of yourself. The minute you start writing things down, you're taking all those thoughts that become this vortex of negativity and stuff that we get ourselves sucked into, and you're putting it outside of yourself so you can start looking at your problems more objectively. So just give it a try, and now come with me, and let's connect with our breath. I'll also play some sound bowl you just to calm you down a little bit more and then see how you feel okay cool so allow yourself to just sit and be find a nice quiet space now I want you to breathe in and hold it and breathe out and what I like to do is I usually enjoy counting so I'd go in, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, out, one, two, three, four. And I just keep on doing that in my head. So in, one, two, three, four, and hold, one, two, three, four, and out. Just allow yourself to keep on breathing in that rhythm and see what it feels like. Keep on breathing and keep on breathing. Just keep on counting in your head. And keep breathing. Visualize this beautiful energy, this white light coming into your crown. That's the beautiful divine source energy. The light from the great I am. Let your body see our love. Just allow it to move down into your body. Visualize it going into your arms and your heart, all the way down your legs into your feet, and just feel what that feels like.
keep on breathing in and out and just feel the beautiful energy in your whole being. How gently just allow yourself to come properly back into your body. Wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes and breathing in and out. Just open your eyes. Awesome. So that wasn't so hard, okay? And just feel how nice you feel now, <laughs> all relaxed and the world's your oyster. And it just really, it takes your, all your stress functions, the adrenals, everything just goes, okay? And that's what we want every day is we just want to be in that space where we're literally just going, I'm here, I can start my day. Whatever comes, I've got clarity, I've got this peace within me that I can literally bat away whatever comes and feels overwhelming generally in life. Okay, and that's the main reason for me for meditating is to put you in that position so that you can really just deal with your day okay and be at peace and that's what we all want okay so please this week make a commitment to yourself find 10 minutes you saw now it like took two minutes and your whole entire being went okay that's all you need two minutes okay 10 minutes in total Take some time, journal a bit, do what you need to do, but this is a great way to start. And if you do this every single day, find 10 minutes for yourself, then um, oh, I can't even explain. <laughs> Things will start happening. So just try it and then we know what it feels like. Okay, awesome. I look forward to speaking to you again next week. Have a beautiful week and please, every single day, 10 minutes for yourself. You won't regret it. Have an awesome week. Thank you so much.